Well guys, we're going to discuss how to age these old trees. What few of them's left. Most country's been logged three or four times since the Indians has left this place. So, before I get started though, I want to correct myself on some things on a video I'd make here earlier on the Indian marker trees. And I wish I'd went more in depth. Well, these trees here, these are way too young to be Indian marker trees. Now, yes, they've mostly been made by just nature itself. Storms or the trees falling on them, snowstorms bending them over over the years. Yes, they're made by nature. And trees like this, I know for a fact that this tree can't be five or ten years old and I've been in these woods for 20 years. Now, in 200 years, if this tree lives, this is a little oak, would this be considered a marker tree? No, I don't think so. But this one right here is not made by Indians. It's only 40 years old. But it was made for a reason by man. It's about 40 years old, I figured. It's a maple tree. And the reason I figured it's made by man, it's right over top of a, a hidden cave, a vertical shaft of about 70 to 80 foot straight down right here. And I dropped the camera down it and there's some remarkable formations in it. Now this right here is a different matter. These trees are in the neighborhood. I can't Nobody knows for certain if they're Indian marker trees or made by nature, but they're in the neighborhood that they could be Indian marker trees from years ago. Now the Indians left here in the 1830s. They was removed to the Oklahoma territories, Cherokee and a lot of different other tribes too. So that would make it around 180, 186 years old, years ago, these people were removed but they might have left behind stuff like this. These trees are rare and hard to find. What nature ain't claimed is their age and they've died off from disease or been logged, there's very few of them left. Now these could possibly be Indian marker trees from years back. With that being said now, let's get into looking at some of these big old oaks on top of these foothills of the Smokies. Big old trees. You don't think these old trees ain't still here in these ridges? Well, I'm going to show them to you and we're going to measure them. Here's an old tree on a farm going up to the ridges. This is an 80 year old tree at least. Look at the fence growing out of the middle of it. Now the big monsters are in the Smokies. Here's a picture of the loggers when they first started logging in 1900 up there in the Smokies. And they were in heaven, untouched wilderness. And they really started logging up all these hollers, Tremont, Elkmont, all these places. And they really hauled them out of here too. It didn't matter, chestnut, American chestnut, White oaks, red oaks, sycamores, poplars, it didn't matter. They was, they started clear cutting and people demanded to stop it. So they made a park out of this place, the Great Smoky Mountains. It is so vast. All the logging they done for about 20 years just barely scratched the surface of it. And it's over 600,000 acres. Now you count the other game reserves and wilderness and the national parks around it, it's well over a hundred thousand. But here is the granddaddy of the Appalachian chain all the way down. The American chestnut. There was a black come down from New York, down got into the mountains and worked its way all the way down the Appalachian chain and killed them out. About starting in the 30s, all the way up to the 40s. But this is what's left of them. And they were monsters, 200 to 300 foot tall. And these things could live to be 600 years old. Now here's a chestnut, just a regular chestnut in a national park. This one's probably 300 better years old. 
and they lived to be 500 years old. There's so much birds in part. Now, the tallest tree in the eastern seaboard for the chestnut oak is in the Great Smoky Mountains. It stands at 144 feet tall. I don't really know the age. I've not been to it myself. Now here's the range of the chestnut oak, shaded in gray. They like the top of these ridges and mountains, well-drained rocky soil, just like the American chestnut. But the big difference is, is the uh, nuts they put off. This is the nuts off an American chestnut. This is what they look like. Now the regular chestnut looks like this. They're just a little bit larger than a white oak. And the leaves are a little bit different from American chestnut, but they are different in them. Now here's a formula of how to determine the age of a tree without cutting it down. All right, you want the, the diameter times tree growth rate gives you the age. To get the diameter, you divide pi, which is 3.5, into the circumference. That gives you diameter, and then times the growth rate. And a chestnut oak growth rate is a six. And here's the chart on the growth rate of different species of trees. I've got it highlighted here, chestnut oak is a six. All different varieties. All right, here's one of them. There, there's probably a couple dozen on this ridge. But here's the big ones I'm gonna show you. You measure it about five feet up from the ground. Go around it with your tape. That'll give you circumference, which the circumference on this is 118 inches. So I divide pi, which is 3.14, into the 118 inches gives you 37.5. That's the diameter. So 37.5 times the growth rate, which is a six for a chestnut oak, is 225 years old. Give or take a year. It's nothing is exact, but there, there you go. That is an old tree. Now I calculated it with my range finder. The height on it was 85 feet high. It's been around a long time. Now here's the biggest one on this ridge. This is a big one. This one stands over 100 feet tall. Right at 100 or a little over. Can't get an exact figure. But I'm going to show you. We're going to measure this one and see the age of this. There's probably two dozen on these ridge, but there's probably a half a dozen that's monsters. It's kind of aggravating to get around them, though. Measure about five foot up from the base. You can work your way around this rough stuff. It's, some of them's pretty hard. The circumference of this one is 137 inches. So to get my diameter, I divide pi, which is 3.14, will give me 43.6. So 43.6 is the diameter times the growth rate factor of six. This one is 261 years old. This is a monster. So it's well over into the Indian periods And the height of it with my range finder is 100 feet in height. Well, if this formula is correct and my measurements are right, this puts this tree back to around 1760. That's about the time the first settlers or explorers in this area even come in here. That's well before the Indian removal, 70 years later. So, that's a good date. This is a tall one too. It's seen some, seen some time. 
Now here's the back side of it. It ain't it ain't firing too good. Nature's taking its toll on it, it's so old. Weather, storms has broke big limbs out of it. But it's still it's still living good, but it looks rough. Look at the places on it. Broke off, split open. It's seen some time. And I hope it lives a lot longer. He's put off a lot of nuts for the game. And they are beautiful trees. Now, like I said, I used a range finder, but you can use this formula to determine the height of a tree, which is really hard to do out in the thick woods. It's just hard, impossible to really do. You just can't see. So I use my bow range finder, and it's pretty accurate. Sad thing is, these old trees, nature's taking her toll in their age and disease. Here's what a lot of them's turning into. This is an old chestnut oak. And these hardwoods, sad thing to see. Now, one last thing, since we, we're on the subject of measuring these old trees and trying to get a reading on how old they are, and these Indian marker trees, two possibilities. Like I said, they have to be in the neighborhood of 180 years old to be considered made by Native Americans. But another thing is, if you try to measure these trees by the method I showed you, it may not be correct because these trees are was deformed when they was made or by nature or by man. So that may change the growth factor on them. So you may not get an accurate reading, maybe more, maybe less. And some of them are gonna be really hard to, to measure the way they are, the way they're made. So there you go on that subject. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this today. I wanna to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.